Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm really excited. I did some holiday shopping and I thought it would be fun to film a dog haul because I got some gifts for my dog. But I have never done a holiday dog haul video. This is a first for me. It's like a special edition. I thought I would sit down, film, and share with you guys some of the things that I found and got. I thought it would spark some gift ideas this season if any of you have pets or any of your family members or your friends have pets. I found some cute finds. I also got some baby stuff for Grayson and he totally doesn't know about it. So I'm kind of feeling like Santa this year. All right, now without further ado, let me show you a bunch of the cute finds that I found. And before I forget, if you like puppies, if you like the holidays, if you like hauls, let me know by giving me a thumbs up, click subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Okay, Okay, now let me show you all the cute things that I found. I ran around town. I was at Healthy Spot, Petco, PetSmart, you name it, I was at it. Look how big this bag is. At Healthy Spot, I found oh, my favorite dog treats. They're the Grandma Lucy's dog treats and they're the all organic ones, but look at this. You guys, they had a holiday edition one. For anyone who doesn't know, the brand Grandma Lucy's Dog Treats are some of my favorite for my dogs. They're organic and they're oven baked and they're just so fancy. Look at this, they're even no preservatives. Okay, they're even kosher. I, I mean, oh my gosh, and now this has brought all the dogs. They love these ladies. Okay, I know it's a little bit before the holidays, but let's try one just to make sure you like it. These trees are so adorable because they're also, look, they're shaped like little bears. Okay, ladies. Are you ready? Okay, gotta sit. And then we gotta work for it. Cookie high five. Give me high five. Good girl. Great high five, great high five. Booberry, high five. High five. Oh, that's a good girl, here you go. How's the gingerbread recipe? I am such a dog mom and I am okay with that. Even holiday themed dog treats found them. So these are adorable, great gift idea. And then let's see what else we got in the bag, ladies. I also got them these. Now these aren't just holiday theme, they aren't like a holiday color, but I got them new harnesses because they have worn out their other harnesses. And these are both by the brand Papilla. I really like these types of harnesses when we go on a walk because they're super soft and breathable and they're really comfortable for the dogs to wear. Cookie's got the bigger one and Blueberry's got the smaller one and now they match, they're both pink. So you guys got cute little matching harnesses. Oh, oh, while we're talking about apparel, look what else I found. They're scarves. I've never gotten scarves for my dogs before. Um, and I got the matching ones. This brand is called The Worthy Dog and they're adjustable, so I really like that. Oh, I have to cut these tags off. I haven't cut these off yet. Okay, stay here, dogs. I'm gonna go get us some scissors. Hold on. Oh my gosh, look at Blueberry. She's ready to make videos. Let's see how this fits on you. Let's take these off, your cute little bows off. Oh, we're matching. Oh, I didn't even plan that. That was just your holiday bow. Ready? Okay, over, over the head. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Look at that. Blueberry, you are ready for the holidays. You're ready to cuddle, you're ready to go skiing, have a little hot apple cider. If you own a bulldog or a French bulldog, you know that their sizes are not as standard as other typical dogs. They have very wide chests and a wider neck than their usual height and weight. So a lot of things online don't fit them very well. So I really love that it's adjustable. Good job, the worthy dog. These little scarves are a win, they're so cute. Okay, Cody, let's see you in one now. Yeah, give it a shake. Oh good, it stays on even after a shake. Oh, you look so good. We are all matching. What? This could have been the holiday family photo. This is too cute, maybe next year. <gasps> or we could do multiple. <gasps> oh, there's an idea. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. 
multiple family photos. The last doggy apparel thing that I found on my haul were these cute little winter jackets. I really love this brand, it's by Canada Pooch, and I love them because they have a lot of different size ranges, again, that fit bulldogs. I really appreciate that. And some of you may be thinking, Ro, you live in Southern California, does it really get that cold there? And the answer is, Yes, in the evening, in December, especially in January, the temperatures can drop below 40 degrees and French Bulldogs don't have the ability to regulate heat very well. In the summer, they tend to overheat and in the winter, they tend to get cold. They don't have a lot of fur on their belly, it's just bare skin. Also this year, I plan on visiting a cabin with friends and family and they're gonna be in the snow, so I got them literally snow coats. They're gonna be ready to go. They'll be nice and toasty and nice and warm. Their sizes are up here and I originally got cookie a size 14 and it did not fit around her neck. She has a big neck, a big chest. So we ended up going with the 18s. It will be a little big on Blueberry, but she'll grow into it. And Cookie, let's see this. This will be a better size for you. Oh, Cookie. You look so pretty, look at you. So much fashion. Last year, Cookie experienced snow for the very first time. First time she smelled it, touched it, ran in it, and she loved it. And I'm really hoping that this year I can have Blueberry experience snow for the first time. I just love seeing their reactions. They're so curious. They're like, what is this white fluffy, but it's cold, but I also can eat it. I What is it? It's so cute to see their reactions. Okay, so that's all I have for apparel. Last but not least, are the dog toys. I found some really cute holiday themed dog toys. I found these little chewy bones. One says naughty, one says nice. Perfect for the holidays and the dogs, oh my gosh, they already want them. They're already excited for them. Okay, maybe I give you one before the holidays, okay? Let's see. Cookie, are you naughty or nice this year? Naughty! <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Have you been naughty or nice this year? Uh, Blueberry has been nice and Cookie has been naughty, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> They're also one fourth pig. My little piggies. <laughs> All of the chewy bones from Planet Dog or Be Tough my dogs love. They chew on these all day. And they even have ones for puppies who are teething. Oh my gosh, see, look at this. They love them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Mulberry, naughty, naughty. Okay, this is one of the cutest dog toys I have ever seen. It's a Yule log and it's crinkly. And it unrolls. Look at this. Into a full. Dogs, what do you think? My dogs give it two paws up. I also found these adorable candy canes by the company Play. They also made the Yule Log toy and they're so cute. I, I just can't. Are you kidding? The only missed opportunity, it says happy holidays. It could have said happy Paula days. Oh my goodness, booby <laughs> Blueberry just joined chat. Last two toys that I found, this one looks like a little holiday reef and this one, a Christmas tree. These were from Petco. They're by Holiday Tales. This one's crinkly and this one's just a rope toy and they love chewing on it and tugging on it. <laughs> Blueberry doesn't like it at all. <laughs> okay, this one might have to be the keeper before the holidays. They seem to really like this one. My dogs love the crinkly toys. All right, that does it for just about all of the holiday dog things that I found. And when I was out shopping for these little babies, I also got inspired to shop for the baby in our family, my new nephew, Baby Grayson. And I went to Bye Bye Baby and I found the cutest holiday outfits for him. He's growing up, he's growing so big and so fast. So Mo, how surprise. It's almost kind of like an unboxing, so I got all of these things for Baby Grayson. Oh my goodness. Okay, so oh let me goodness. show you. Um, so this is also like an unveiling, a surprise for Mo. So let me show you all the cute things I got oh, for him. so cute. Aren't they adorable? Okay, so first, oh, <gasps> it's like a little winter snowsuit. So Baby Gray is gonna be visiting his family in the Northwest, and he's gonna be around snow and like really cold temperatures, so I got him this. And Mo, it comes with little mittens. Ooh, okay, 
Oh, Blue, this is not a toy. And Blueberry Muffin thinks that this is for her and thinks that this is a toy. And we totally get it because you just got some gifts, but this is for Baby Gray. Okay, Blue, you're Baby Blue, he's Baby Gray. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see pictures of Baby Gray and all of these outfits, because um, I'm just being selfish and like I do, because he could do little OOTDs. Oh Mo, do you think this will fit him? Yeah. Because he's like a little shorty, but I did. I, but I think this will fit him. Okay, Mo, are you ready for Christmas Day? We got two of them. It's my first Christmas onesies. Oh, my goodness. And I got them, too, because, you know, sometimes babies are messy. They change multiple outfits a day. Oh, my gosh. I love this one. It says milk, love, and cuddles. A Christmas list, all you need. The one thing that's missing, though, is, like, Michael Buble Christmas music. We'll sharpie it in. <laughs> yeah. It's like Molly's favorite artist. She loves Michael Buble. All right, here you go, Mo. And now, Mo, are you ready for the cutest Northwest outfit? Stop, that is the Northwest. No, it's not North Face, but why does it look like it's a little baby North Face jacket? He has to wear that. And he has matching little pants, too. <gasps> We need outfits. We need photos of all of this. Okay, so Mo, take this. Oh, Mo, I'm not done. We're what? almost there. We're How almost there. Did you get? I went a little crazy. I told you, I went Santa this year. So these are my gifts to Baby Gray. So we got this cute little onesie. It's like a Aww. stretchy and soft and then little matching gray sweats. Oh my God, do those sweats have pockets? Oh yeah, he can put his crackers in there. <laughs> crackers. His little crackers. His little crackers. He can put his little crackers in there. His little puffs, his little crackers. Also, Mo, I found this thing. It's supposed to be like a test where you type in how you say different words and it will tell you your exact dialect. Like it will know where you're from. I thought it'd be really fun if we do it sometime. This is a side note because then- I think it'll know. I see, I think it will get confused. It won't know if we're from Seattle, the Midwest or the South. Or Canada. Yeah, a lot of people think that we're Canadian because of some of our inflections, but it's because we grew up in the Northwest in Seattle and it's very close to the Canadian border and a lot of people in Seattle have a slight Canadian accent. Huh. It's very slight, but we don't even hear it because we grew up with it. I'd be really curious to see if you could tell. Yeah, me too. Okay, let's totally do it. But Molly, before we're done, I just have a couple more. This one's just a cozy basic, but it has little, oh, look at the little trees. They're like little Northwest pine trees on there. That's so perfect. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Okay, that one. Last one, I promise. It's formal wear. Oh my God, there's a bow tie. Yes, he's got a little bow tie. Yeah. And then the little paints. Oh my God, are those pockets too? Yeah, oh, he can put all the things in these pockets. Oh my goodness. Oh my he's gosh, it matches so my pillows. Dapper. Mo, what have I done? Okay, here you go, Mo. All right, that does it for the holiday dog haul video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it, and I also hope it gives you some ideas if you have some pets, or your friends have pets, or your other family members have pets, of some cool gift ideas. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. I'm having so much fun with these holiday videos. We're doing holiday baking, things with gingerbread, so many things, so let me know if you have any other ideas i would love to make them happen and i hope you guys are having some very happy holidays all right bye bye and if you'd like to watch any other videos you can click up here or up here